Let's come back to some domestic news. NRA joins ACLU lawsuit, claims NSA starting gun registry. And the article goes on and says, the National Rifle Association joined the American Civil Liberties Union's lawsuit on Wednesday to end the government's massive phone records collection program. In its filing, the gun rights group claims the NSA's database would allow the government to identify and track gun owners based on whether they called gun stores, shooting ranges, or the NRA. The article also goes on to say that it violates the First Amendment and thinks that people would be intimidated by a force such as the NSA being able to track their every move and would actually hurt the NRA membership, as it would hurt many other things. You heard the uh, Right after Edward Snowden broke the NSA information, a lot of people started going back to snail mail. And then it came out there tracking your snail mail. They're taking photographs of the front and back of your snail mail. So they want to know everything that you're doing. So, you know, I've been critical of the NRA in the past, but I'm definitely happy to see that they're getting on board with this. They're saying this isn't a left issue. It's not a right issue. It's about a personal right issue, a human right issue, not to be monitored 24-7 by Big Brother. So good job to you, NRA. And we'll end with this shot while waiting for the police. Now, I want you to send this report out to everybody you know who is against guns, who says, you know, if, if something did happen, I'll just dial 911. Let's see what happened when this person dialed 911. Police Chief James Craig has suspended two 9-11 dispatchers for delays in sending officers to separate calls for service, including one that eventually resulted in a death. Fox 2's Charlie LeDuff says a woman who feared for her safety called 911 six times but the dispatcher waited more than an hour to send officers to the dispute. LaDuff says that by the time the officers arrived, the woman was shot by a man armed with an AK-47. She is now listed in critical condition, and the, the article goes on from there. So a lot of people say, well, you know, this is why we don't need to have guns. This guy was walking around with an AK-47, and he shot this woman. I would say it didn't matter what type of firearm this guy had, because I'm guessing the woman didn't have an arm or at least wasn't able to get to it. So while she's waiting for the police to arrive for X, Y, Z reason, even if the dispatcher did call the police promptly and say, hey, you need to arrive at this residence right away. You know, the cop could have got a flat tire. He could have gotten a traffic accident, could have been a snowstorm, a whole bunch of different reasons why the police couldn't get there in a timely fashion. And now this woman has been shot. You know, it says uh, two people were injured in these uh, incidents. At least one person is dead. This other person is in critical condition. So this is why you need to have a firearm and know how to use it. I'll keep my God, I'll keep my guns, and you can keep the change. That's not the quote of the day, but this is our quote of the day. If tyranny and opposition come to this land, it will be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. That by James Madison. Now stay tuned because like I said earlier, right after this break, myself, David Knight, and Jerome Corsi, Dr. Jerome Corsi, will be here discussing all things Syria. But first, if you like this broadcast and you'd like to see it continue, stop by PrisonPlanet.tv and pick up a 15-day free trial as the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the rants, the special reports, it's all right there on PrisonPlanet.tv. And also stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up our new magazine. I got one right here. It has the image of Obama. You know, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you go in, it's all about the political correctness and, you know, everybody worshiping Obama. You know, we've seen the kids, uh, the kid pray to Obama, and I'm not too mad at the kid. I'm more ups upset at the parent who did not correct the child's mistake. But anyway, uh, you know, the rodeo clown who got fired and now they had to take sensitivity training. It's all in this edition of the InfoWars magazine. So stay tuned right after this for the roundtable on Syria. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.